that came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Well, that kind of hit will certainly fire up your team, both on the field and on the sideline. Tackles for lost yardage, they're always welcome. On second and 12, Jackson. Buying time to his left. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That is definitely what we call our defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson. When you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Play action. It's Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 12-yard line. And Jackson throwing once more. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews there to make the grab. And the Ravens take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead it 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 13. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. That ball caught, it's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Big Calais Campbell fighting through to make the play in the backfield. 
Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. About three yards there to the 27. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go play action with Jackson. He'll buy some time right. Oh, they try to shuffle pass, and it's intercepted. It's the sack master, Justin Houston, who comes up with it. And they finally put it into this return, but not before he's all the way down to the 37. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball for him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Other... And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Throwing is Jackson. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. He got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. On third down, Jackson. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And one more time, that's Watkins. A gain of six there on first. This is a second and four, ball at the nine. From the gun, it's Jackson. Forced out to his left. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. Tucker with the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to 0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 13. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Roll it. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. These plays, these safeties are so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Oh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Jackson now. Over the middle complete. That's Brown. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Now it's Jackson. This is caught. Touchdown! Sammy Watkins from eight yards out. And the Ravens continue to pull away here in this first half. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. DuVernay now going to bring it out. And he's going to be taken down inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The driver commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct, being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Sammy Watkins, he's going to go. The 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. But for Sammy Watkins, we saw plays like this from time to time in his Kansas City days, and he's still making them here with his new team, the Ravens. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead's down to two scores now at 16. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Throwing again on second down, Jackson. Now this is going to be pulled in by the tight end, Andrews. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From midfield now, here's Jackson. And he'll go right back to Andrews. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. 
And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Both teams going back through their game plans, making their final halftime adjustments. And for the call of the second half, we go back up to Baltimore and rejoin Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. We talk a lot about setting the tone to start the game. Well, you want to start the tone right in the third quarter as well and nearly lost a football there in their first drive. And sometimes we overdo it when we talk about halftime adjustments and what teams are going to do. Most of the time, it's just a matter of... But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, 